Do you remember Dino Warriors? Of course you do. Dino Warriors? I haven't thought about that in years! I love Dino Warriors. That was like my favorite cartoon. How'd the theme song go? A team of warrior brothers. Dinos are like no other. My first animated crush was Mark Stegosaurus. Whoa. <laughs> oh man, honestly, it was better than Ninja Turtles. Yeah, my mom invited them to my 10th birthday party, which was awesome. My cousin and I, we wrote our own Dino Warriors comic book. It was better than Biker Mice from Mars. The guy that was dressed as Thunder Rex, he waited for the bus afterwards for a really long time. And then when it came, he didn't have enough money for the bus. So he ended up crashing on the couch that night. We got a cease and desist letter. I love the Super Nintendo game mm. um, where, you, where you travel back in time to prevent the Holocaust. It was better than Street Sharks. Mm. He never took off his costume, so I, I never saw his real face or found out what his real face looked like. My bar mitzvah, actually, we had a Dino Warriors theme. But I love the Dino Warriors. Yeah, no, they're great. They're great. So good. It was better than Battletoads, any kind of team of animals. And I just showed my sons the DVDs the other day. Uh, they loved it. It is timeless stuff. Classic. Like a lot of 90s kids, I watched a ton of TV, like Nickelodeon, Disney Afternoon, Fox Kids, and I watched a ton of cartoons. Like Gummy Bears, DuckTales, Street Sharks, Ninja Turtles, SWAT Cats, The Radical Squadron, the Wild West Cowboys of Moo Mesa. But a few weeks ago, I was scrounging around in my parents' basement, and I found these. Dino Warriors. Taped off the original run, 1991 through 1998, I loved Dino Warriors, but I haven't seen it or heard about it in years. Like, what happened? Where did it go? Where is all the love for Dino Warriors? But first of all, what is Dino Warriors? Hello, I'm Gabe Cokey, creator of the hit cartoon show Dino Warriors! And I'm here to welcome you to a brand new, exciting episode. Hi, Mr. Cloakey. Hi, Brett. Brett, yes, yes. yes. Good to Hi. meet you. Great yes. to meet you, so, Gabe. Here's well, look, the crew. This is, uh, hello. Our old staff this here. This is amazing, uh, yes. Thank you for making the time oh, to anytime, speak to anytime. us. Anytime. I'm sorry, come on in. Oh, thank of course. You. Dino Warriors is the brainchild of animator Gabe Cloakey, who originally created the series as an independently produced comic book. Gabe Cloakey was kind enough to invite us into his office. Well, yeah, <laughs> this, like is, a, this is different. <laughs> yeah, kind of like a bootstrap 60 minutes kind of. What is Dino Warriors? Well, that's like asking what is love? What is the color blue? What is wind? <laughs> I mean, Dino Warriors is something you, you can't exactly put into words. But if you had to... It, it's a cartoon show about talking dinosaurs. It was a dream come true for any young cartoonist. I mean, Dino Warriors was an extremely personal project. All the characters are based on people from my life. I mean, you had Thunder Rex. It was based on an old gym teacher I had. He was a headstrong type of guy, always chewing on his bubble gum, you know. Which explains Thunder Rex's severe and, and life-threatening bubblegum addiction. Attack Raptor was actually based on an old guy from my neighborhood when I was a kid. You know, and just like Attack Raptor, he was sarcastic and he was funny. He was actually a hermit. He lived in a tiny cabin in the woods, drank his own pee. But just like Attack Raptor, he was always saying things were dinotastic. Pterodactyl. He was the funny one. It's based on my mother. <laughs> I miss her. Oh, and, and, and Mark Stegosaurus, of course. He was based on a, a kid I went to elementary school with. I don't even think the kid even realized it. I, I thought it was quite obvious, you know. Of course, his name wasn't Mark Stegosaurus. It was Leonard Stegosaurus. And together, that prehistoric foursome would go on to redefine what it means to be a cartoon dinosaur. Where should we, should oh, we start? Uh, to, uh, to the camera. To, okay. 
Hi, I'm Jane. And I'm Nick. And we are Dino Warriors Fanatics. Okay, I wouldn't say fanatics. Look, is that a copy, Dino Warriors copy pot? Oh, the French yes, press? Yes, The French press? A, oh, absolutely. Copy that? Yeah, excuse me, let me get back here. Get a shot of this. You look. No, you gotta try some. And, of course, we have look to... Look at that. Okay, yeah, great. Get you cup here. Thank you. Looks a little sketchy, but... <laughs> it's not. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy Thank that. I will. Thank That's you. That's how fun. I start every morning. <coughs> Okay. Ooh, be careful. That's yeah. so bad. Well, oh I, my god. I, I know. Maybe you probably drank a little fast. Just, you gotta finish it though. That's we don't let a cup of Dino Warriors coffee go. Oh. Yeah, those grounds are really rare. Yeah. So. By rare it, vintage, I think. Yeah. yeah. My mouth my mouth is full of grounds. Yeah. Is that normal? It's kind of like coffee and cereal at the same time. Mm. <coughs> so okay. When did I know it was a hit? Well, maybe it was uh, the Clinton inauguration in 1996, when Bill Clinton actually quoted Attack Raptor by saying the next four years are gonna be dino-tastic. Or several years later, when he quoted one of the Bronto boys by saying, uh, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. That, that was actually another famous line from the show. So do you guys have a uh, most meaningful episode? Do you have like a favorite episode? It was the one where Jurassic Jenny realizes she only makes 60 cents for every dino buck the guys make. It was eye-opening for me and really made me consider the ways which women are systematically mistreated. Wow. What about you, Nick? Um, mine was when they fought the giant spider and then Mark Stegosaurus got to drive around in the, the little car with his face on it. It, it was eye-opening for me. I didn't know spiders could be that big. My hometown of, of Greentown, Illinois, actually named August 12th, 1994, Gabe Cloakey Day. Which, unfortunately, that was the same day that the, the mayor had a, a psychotic break and ceded the cities from the Union. So, so Gabe Cloakey Day never was officially recognized by the U.S. government. I would say my favorite's the one where Pterodactyl realizes how poorly structured the American healthcare system is, and he petitions for a single payer option. Oh wow, that like really affected me. Well, there, there was the pterodactyl balloon in the, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. That was exciting. They actually filled it up with too much helium and it floated away. And it still has not landed. But when it does, that's, that's gonna cause a lot of destruction. You know, I loved the episode where Thunder Rex realizes that his his, uh, his actions, whether subconscious or not, were a way of profiting from his Rex privilege. Uh, I like the one where they have to fight the uh, mole men at the center of the earth, and they all have to um, have to dress up like cowboys. Yeah. Well, it's 1997, I get home from school and I have two hours till soccer practice. I turn on the TV, it's the episode where Mark Stegosaurus runs for mayor of New Dino City, but loses because of his complicated views on abortion. Instantly, I was hooked. We love Gabe Cloakey's episode introductions. <laughs> he did have a tendency to kind of be all over the place, though. This episode features our heroes daring life and limb as they save their friend Gertie from the evil tyrannical king who has fooled the populace into believing that trickle-down economics will actually help the poor and deregulations of corporations will lead to an improved economy. And Christmas time is fun for all until Al Osaurus realizes that the crass commercialization of Christmas has been the cause of his seasonal depression. And that's when Thunder Rex faces his biggest challenge. Has he been focusing too much on his career to enjoy his life? And they tell you the sound quality is going to be better on compact discs, but it's not. It's actually worse. And suddenly, you've bought Herman's Hermit's Greatest Hits four times on four different types of media. And each time you listen, you think it's going to be as good as you imagined the first time would be, but it's not. It gets worse. Anyway, enjoy this week's episode of Dino Warriors. The Dino Warriors go to Atlantis. The cartoon was a phenomenon. But what was even better were the toys.
There, there were so many toys, I lost track. Oh, the only thing I had for a long time, I had a lapel pin. Uh, it's weirdly, it ate a hole through my suit. It was a weird funeral. And we had the, uh, the Christmas ornaments, man. Okay. Yeah, a lot of times they would cause a tree to catch on fire, man. Didn't matter though. I used the DW soap and shampoo until it turned my skin purple. The gummy candies, mm. they were great. Um, I mean, they did, they did cause your teeth to, to fall out. Um, but they were all my baby teeth, so adult teeth came in great. I was a huge reader of their books, and my teacher had to ask me to stop bringing the Dino Warriors original novels to class. Yeah, I had the Dino Warriors baseball set. Um, actually, it hit the window at my dad's office, and the window caught on fire. Yeah, I had the Dino Warriors toolkit. Yeah, and I built a small bookshelf with it, and it spontaneously burst into flames. The Dino Warriors members only jacket. It gave me a second degree burn though. Well, it, it, it's hard for an artist to compromise his art. But I knew if I wanted to get the show made, I would have to sign a contract with Geep Toys. I don't, I think right now my favorite would be Thunder Rex from the Saxon Axe Medieval Jazz mm. episode. Mm. So this one, it's. Oh! Ooh. I'm fine. It's, it does that sometimes. Are you okay? What, yeah. what was. Yeah does that sometimes. If, if it's cold out, the figures get like boiling hot. So you just gotta watch it, it. does that based on the temperature? Yeah, yeah. Or if we look at them too long. Mm -hmm. So everyone, if we can just kind of avoid looking at the table for a little. When we stop the sizzling, then you... Where'd I put my dino mitts? The toys were not well made. All that stuff, you know, I had the... Um... The action figures, the VHS tapes, the card games, Super Nintendo games. The video game was fun. Unfortunately, they had to take it off the market because if you played it for more than two hours, it would burst into flames. Have their CDs, the Dino Warriors Thrash Metal Christmas and the Dino Warriors Thrash Metal Dynamus, which is a fictional dinosaur holiday. Also taken off the market due to the so-called ear bleeding epidemic of 1997. <laughs> Still, none of those kids were ever tested to see if they were predisposed to ear bleeding. I mean, it's like they're printing their own money. Literally, like Dino Bucks, dino. toy money with Dino Warriors faces on them. Each Dino dollar costs only five dollars. Would you? Is it part of a board game or something? Or? No, they were just a toy. Do you guys have any? No, no. no. They were recalled because they were made of 100% asbestos. Some of those uh, toys are very valuable collectibles, uh, uh, like the stuffed animals. You know, only, only 20,000 of those were made, and 18,000 of those were destroyed when the factory melted. So we subscribe to Dino Box. Dino Box. Yeah, yeah it's great. Okay. Every month they send us a box full of great classic Dino Warriors toys and stuff. Oh my God, look oh. at these. What's oh, what's it, dino eggs? Are you, I, I haven't had one of these in like twenty years. We get a shot of that. Dino eggs. Oh, these were these were so good. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Mm. What makes these so good? It's like the the KFC eleven spices or the Coca Cola recipe. Only the two creators of dino eggs know what it was for sure. Oh. Mm, give me some of that. Wow. Sadly, mm -hmm. they died in a freak accident and took that secret with them to the grave. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. But before they died, um, they produced enough to stay on the market through 2020. Mm -hmm. But we can never reproduce their formula. The only thing we know for certain about their death yeah. is that they each died after eating six dino eggs, which is no longer the recommended serving. And then one day, Dino Warriors just wasn't on TV anymore. Gabe has been a little ambiguous as far as why the show was canceled. All right, well, the cartoon business is a, is a, it's a funny industry. I mean, especially when you consider it, it's run by a secret cabal of underground forest wizards who, who have somehow engineered some kind of, some kind of plant in, in children's cereal. But it was gone. I went to high school and then college and I forgot all about it. But the whole time, there was a Dino Warrior-shaped hole in my heart, and I didn't even realize it. 
You know, when I started this, I thought I'd find a few other people who vaguely remembered it, but what I found surprised me. I mean, for a lot of people, Dino Warriors never went away. There is a whole universe of people that Dino Warriors has touched. I guess the, the most rewarding part for me as an artist is just seeing all the people out there who, who the Dino Warriors have inspired to, to create their own art. Our band, we're called the, the Bronto Boys, and we play songs about the Dino Warriors, only the Dino Warriors. Met you on a rainy night in New Dino City. Beyond the neon lights, your scales look so pretty. Feels like our love began 80 million years ago. And we share that love with the greatest cartoon show. Oh, 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 oh. Just like the Ninja Turtles were always eating pizza, the Dino Warriors were always eating turkey club sandwiches. So this is a sandwich shop that specializes in turkey club recipes taken directly from the show. We've been shut down by health inspectors 36 times. Uh, my act, it used to be a lot of pop culture references, but now it's mainly Dino Warriors. Uh, I mean, as soon as I wrote that first Dino Warriors bit, it just, it opened up all these doors. I mean, anyone can, it's universal. Anyone can relate to it. <laughs> like, why does Thunder X have to go to the center of the earth every week? I mean, what, what, what did they see last week down there in the last episode? <laughs> they went to the center of the earth once. As part of our Midnight series, we screened the live action Dino Warriors movie. Uh, it was a packed house, standing room only. We like to invite the director whenever possible, but uh, that evening, Yodorowsky had a meditation party with his action figures. We play a lot of games on our Let's Play channel, um, but the biggest one we ever did by far was Dino Warriors for the SNES. That got us the most hits. That's a really hard game, but we almost prevented the Holocaust last time we played. Um, all of my paintings are inspired by dreams I had about the Dino Warriors. The first dream I had was about Deborah Soros' parents getting divorced. I really try to paint Deborah Soros' aura more than what she looks like, you know, technically speaking. So I try to just sort of capture her. Um, and her aura is just pitch black. So the burlesque troupe was inspired by Dino Warriors, our favorite TV show, and all of the acts are taken directly from burlesque routines from Dino Warriors. Our last Dino Warriors themed show sold out all four nights. A team of warrior brothers These dinos are like no others Toys and clothes and video games and Buy them all so no one thinks you're lame Dino Warriors of Karate Dino Warriors Buy your toys and save the day Dino Warriors Eating pizza and fighting crime Dino, Dino Warriors Taking place before the dawn of time We are the hosts of Dino Warriors Minute and every week we discuss one minute of one episode of Dino Warriors. It's actually really amazing the kind of things you find out about a show when you dissect it on such a minute level. Welcome back to the show. This week we're going to be talking about Season 7, Episode 13, where Thunder Rex and Attack Raptor start their own small business. Oh my goodness. And they became arms dealers, I believe, in this episode. We're less a religion and more of a philosophy based around the teachings of Thunder Rex. <laughs> We're definitely not a cult. I have no connection to and I do not endorse the Church of Dinonetics. We met each other because of Dino Warriors. Yep. Dino Swipe. We're a Dino-tastic match. Shut the stars. He can't stop us. He got blue raptor. He can't stop on us. You are my Beginning 
as a simple black and white comic, self-published by an artist in his mother's attic, and finishing as a worldwide phenomenon, beloved by children of all ages, world leaders, two popes, and at least one Dalai Lama, Dino Warriors has truly conquered the world. Those are some of our favorite Dino Warriors memories. What are yours? Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with us some of your favorite Dino Warriors memories. Video essays, fan art, fiction, uh, Let's Play channels, all of it. You got it, we want to see it. So send it over, and thanks for watching. What's up, Dino Freaks? Do you remember the greatest television show of the 90s? I know I do. So come on in to Dino HQ. But if you're looking for Stone Age Rock, well, this is Stone Age Rock. Come on, come on! Turn on the tube and grab some bigger bites, cause it's time to watch dinosaurs get in fights. Thunder Rex, Pterodactyl, and Attack Raptor, and Mark Stegosaurus in the all new chapter. Dino Warriors never been beaten. Fresher than the turkey clubs they're always eaten. Thunder brings a ruckus with his pistol launcher. Terror's martial artistry will always haunt ya. Raptors and a lot of big booms, and Mark is on a crusade against the fumes, fighting together for brothers as one, making each and every Saturday more fun, just me and mom watching all alone, wondering if dad is ever gonna come home, but like the dinos say when they get in a crunch, there's no crime that we can't punch! Like the Bronto Boys or the Amarillo Horny Tones, a Cactus P. Carnotaur, Boil Tycoon, or Major Tom Sokopus, who stole the damn moon. It's the Jolly Raptor who's at the helm. Look, Parasaur, Lopez Pirate, Tennis Metal Hook. And Paul had a crush on Mistress Reptilia. Her dancing's hypnotic, but her venom will kill ya. Oh, now what about the epic three parter? The dinosaur robot, zombie Jimmy Carter. But only one team can take them all down. The Dino Warriors protect this town. Amazing, awesome, stunning, marvelous, fascinating, wonderful, incredible, prodigious. The D dubs are so great, I need a thesaurus. If you don't believe me, you must be just a thesaurus. Dino. the sea with peanuts, killing everyone with allergies. Anything to add, Marcus Stegosaurus? Yeah. yeah. yeah.